and we had shot this one Chinese guy, and he had a brand new Russian burp gun, and he was laying down like this, and he had it over his sink like this, and and it was cold. It was maybe 28 degrees, and my fingers, you know, you when you shoot, you don't put your gloves on. And Bishop says to me, he says, hand me that. And I reached down and looked, you know, and before that guy died, their grenades, wooden handles on them, they unscrewed the cap and took that thing out, and they had a ring in there, and they put it on their finger. The pen, you know, they go off. I said, do you really want this machine gun? He said, yeah. I said, well, he was standing over up near that tank. We, I said, you pick it up yourself. So he said, well, get out of the way. So I took about two steps back, and God darn it. I felt something squishy like, you know, and I jumped back, and here was a spider hole, and the lid flew up, and here's a goddamn Chinese guy with a submachine gun, and I hollered, Bishop, look out! And I fell down, and as I did, I grabbed my M1, and I turned right around, and I heard him go, and he shot right over the top of me as I was falling. And the four guys on the side of me there, they all got hit. And Bishop, I turned right around as I'm shooting at an angle off the ground, I to shoot this sucker. Bishop, I saw him standing up and stabbing it back, and down that sucker went. Lit up a little bit, and I called over to him. And Bishop, I went over the rocks, and there he was laying. He says, they got me. Whoever they got me this time. And he says, I'm on fire. So I took my sheath knife out, and I could see his clothes was all shot away, and his webbing was shot out. So I cut his, there, his clothes off and his shirt there, and he had three big burns across his chest with these bullets just grazed him. But one of them went right through his arm. And I told him, I said, didn't break your arm. So I took my tourniquet and put it on her for him, and I said, you're all right. <laughs>